much to look at. Long views, dusty roads, rocks, grubby brush. Pretty barren. Not three feet away, a whole bunch of bees coming in and out of the rock. Obviously, I don't want to hang out here very long or get any closer in case they decide to turn on me. But uh, I can see them congregating in there and you know there's honey in there because this time of year they're buzzing and moving around and gathering all kind of pollen. I had a whole swarm of them fly over my head. Just yesterday up there, there was some uh, copper sulfates showing. So I dug in there. There was a lot of mineralization, a lot of crystal, false signals. Gave up on that. Came across this area here. <laughs> heavily mineralized it's dark red with iron and there's a little prospect tunnel just down the hill there and I decided to have a go at it because I saw this there's smaller ones still stuck in the rock but uh, that is a really big cube so you know this is a, a favorable conditions for gold to form and drop out in, in larger pockets because You've got, well, all this material is shale. There's shale here, and then there's a whole bunch of flatter stuff down there. And then you got these cubes, of course, in the shale. And you got all this, these cracks and fissures. And, and then if you have any kind of intrusion that comes in, that's even better. But uh, a lot of mineral travel through here. And when it drops out and forms crystals like that, it's worth having a look. And I could see where other people have dug out in here that it's not natural when you see a little square <laughs> so but this is hard digging it's like uh lego blocks except in reverse so here's that little prospect tunnel i was talking about you can see here on the sidewall here they were chasing a this band of mineralization it runs all the way up there, and there's even some quartz over there. Uh, I'm not sure why they went straight in, but who knows. And here's the band again on, on this side. Lots of minerals in there, just outside, out front. More of those big cube things. I don't know what mineral it is. Uh, I don't think it's magnetic. I didn't bring my pick with me, so I'm not sure. It's probably, uh, if I had to guess, it's probably hematite. I've been calling all these showings of copper that I found copper sulfides. I've misspoke. It clearly states here in this Rocks and Minerals guidebook that the carbonates are blue and green. The sulfides are black, purple, and yellow. I've seen sulfides sometimes, but more often what I've been referring to is carbonates. I love this little book because it uh, shows nice little illustrations. I kind of prefer the old school illustrations in the 50s and 60s. I don't particularly care for actual photographs. It's a nice book. It shows you how to deal with gemstones. The book covers everything about all the most common stuff, so anything that you'll encounter in any state really. So it's good to have a guide. So when you're out and about looking in the rock and the geology, you can identify things by their hardness, their color, their shape, how they break up, and uh, yeah.